Right, just done a little video on that. I'm going to uh, put him down. I'm going to actually shove him in this hole here. So he's not... He can go in there and just tuck himself away in there. He should be all right there until the tide comes back in. But I'm in. A pretty cool find that is. Right, I'm gonna see if, cause he's there. My mate, Larry the Lobster, was on the other side of there. So I'm gonna see if he's there. <laughs> but, uh, Susan, the spider crab, is uh, all right. I've just looked in the little hole where Larry the Lobster would have been and hollow so he's, he's molted and uh, moved somewhere else but I found, it, I found his claw, an empty claw and I know it's molted because the claw is completely empty, completely empty. So uh, I'll keep looking for a minute. Yeah, Larry, where are you? Look at that. This is a type of, I think it's called Tunigate. No, tu Tunigate? 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 Something along those lines. Basically, see these? They've got like a a very slimy sort of look, but each one is a separate organism. And they colonise themselves together. And they end up looking like this in a little patch. So that patch there will get bigger or colonise with other ones. And each one of these... Each little star, that's because they're, they're like the shape of stars, each little star will filter the water for food. And these actually are um, closely uh, related to squid and crab. But yeah, they, they, they colonise themselves, like this one. See? We'll end up, and you'll see on the beach, well, if you look over underneath rocks, you'll see, like, colonies of them all over the place. Oh, there's another set there, look. And then you've got barnacles. And just inside, you can actually see inside the barnacles, that one there, look. Right, and they come out of their little barnacle shell, open up, and pulse like that, in and out of the uh, in and out of the little, what's well, a little volcano really, isn't it? And go in and out of there and filter through the water, and see a couple of crabs in there. Then you've got the keel keel worms, like these. See, oh, you actually. There's a worm, oh actually there is a worm in that one, somewhere. Right, let's see what else I can find. Look at that little chap. He is just slithered to the tide line all the way from here. At some distance for a little snail to fucking trowel all the way along. No razor clams today. Unfortunately, I don't think the tide went out far enough, to be honest. Well, I found some other little cool things, so now I'm going to tackle the steps and get back up, up to the top, and see what's happening. Seagull's still on the lookout for some grub. Beautiful down here. 
Right, up to the steps where you shall go. I'd like to say a little thank you to everyone that follows me. The ins and outs and the best bit about it all is I get to show you the interesting bits of where I live and everything else and the people that appreciate it. So uh, cheers everybody. Subscribe to my YouTube. Follow me on Facebook. Jobs are good. Huh?